Good people, what's going on? We're back, we're back. I've had a couple subscribers reach out and ask what settings I use on my Garmin uh, unit. So today we're gonna be going over uh, the basic settings that you need to have a clear picture uh, and to increase your chances of catching fish every trip out. As you all know, I have the Garmin 93 SV UHD. Um, and what I'm gonna do basically, I'm just gonna reset this thing to factory settings and I'm just gonna set it up uh, basically to what I would use when I come out on the water. If you just got this unit, try not to get overwhelmed with it. Uh, there's just some basic settings that you need to have in line in order to get a clear picture. And the rest is up to you to learn where to find these fish on whatever body of water you're fishing during that time of year. All right, so we're at the factory settings now. We'll just select United States, English. Uh, we're not using it for a store demonstration. We have a power boat. Uh, I, for minimum safe depth for your boat, for me, I'm gonna say three feet. Uh, my trolling motor goes down about a foot under the boat. Shallow water alarm, yes. Uh, vertical clearance, I haven't had to use this at all. I've never had this, any alerts come up for this. But I'm gonna put it at 10 feet. Collision alarm, haven't had any uh, instances where I've had to use this either. Uh, so I'm gonna do 500 feet and we'll give us six minutes of alert and we'll give ourselves six minutes of alert time. So guys, I'm right over a year of experience using this unit. And the first thing that I would use, uh, set up, uh, if I'm setting my unit up from factory settings, is gonna be my combos. Uh, combos are key for uh, navigating and pinpointing exactly where these fish are. The first combo that I'm gonna set up is gonna be my clear view and it's gonna be my side view. So here, we can either go to sonar and there's a preset clear view and a side view combo here, or we can customize our screen exactly how we want to by going to combos. Customize, now we're gonna add. Now you have all kind of configurations on how exactly you like to see uh, your side view and your clear view side by side. So I like to go with this one here. We click empty. And now it's giving us the option to select exactly what we want in that box. So let's go to sonar, select clear view. And now we have our clear view on that side. We go to hit empty again, sonar, side view. And then we select done. You can name it whatever you want. And once we hit done, and now we have our clear view on the left side and we have our side view on the right side. Now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna adjust our color. First, let's finish setting up our combos. So now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take this first combo that we made. We have these buttons here, one through four, are basically gonna be your quick access to your combos. So what we'll do is we'll hold down number one and now we see that this page has been saved to shortcut key number one. So our first combo, clear view and side view, by holding down number one, we've saved it to this key. All right, let's go back. And we'll customize another combo. What I like to use next, same, same layout, I like to add my traditional 2D, and I like to pair it with the clear view on the right side. So sonar, clear view. Now we hit done. Again, you can customize the name however you like. And I'm gonna hold down the number two. And now this combo is now saved to shortcut key number two. All right, let's go back. Let's customize another combo for our shortcuts. Let's go to add. And now I'll choose the layout that gives us three different chart options. In this layout, I'll use when I'm trying to follow a river channel or I'm trying to follow a creek channel and map out the bottom and map out what's in the water column. So first, on the big screen, I'll go sonar, side view. 
So we have our side view on the side here. Here, I'll add sonar, clear view. And here, we're gonna add our chart. And I'm gonna go with a fishing chart. All right, and then we'll hit done. And again, we'll hold down key number three. And now we have our third combo added to shortcut key number three. Now you see here on our fishing chart, we have a map of the uh, United States. Um, and this plus and minus sign is gonna be your zoom. So we can just plus our way all the way to the lake. And now we have our boat here. We're sitting in the channel right now. All right, let's go back. And let's customize another combo. And we're gonna add we're gonna use the same layout as we used before. And in this one, we'll add our clear view on the side. We'll add our 2D at the top. And we'll add our fishing chart at the bottom. Let's hit done. Let's hold down number four. And now our combo, our fourth combo is saved to our shortcut key number four. Now once you have your combos up guys, you can now zoom in, you can now click on either one of these charts and you'll get a full screen picture on it. So we click on 2D, it's full screen. We click on the fishing chart, now we've got the fishing chart full screen. All right, so now let's clear up our picture. So I'm gonna go to 2D first. And if you look at the top, we have our plus and minus buttons are set to adjust our range. Now we wanna keep the, right, right now our range is set to auto, and then we wanna keep our range at auto. And when I say the range, it's basically, if we plus and minus, it's going to move our screen and adjust how much of the bottom we're actually seeing. When you keep it on auto, it keeps a clear picture of the bottom, and as well, you can see um, everything that's in the water column. So let's go back and let's change our range to auto. So we hit menu on the bottom right corner, and range is here. You select range, and we're just gonna put it to auto, and then click done. If you don't click done, it won't save. Let's go back to menu. Let's go to sonar setup. And we're looking for our on-screen control. So we're gonna change that from range to gain. Now we'll go back. So we hit our minus button and you see right now we have all this noise on our screen. Now as you all know, I'm sure on your 2D, your traditional sonar, you're looking for arches and arches are gonna be the fish. So I'm gonna turn my trolling, trolling motor on slightly and we're gonna turn this gain down. And you see how that screen is starting to clear up? And there we are, we almost have uh, no noise here. So as you, as you can see here, we have plenty of arches. We don't have a lot of noise around those arches. If I turn my gain up, you'll see that picture becomes a little bit more foggy, a little bit more cloudy, right? So we turn our gain down until we get rid of that screen noise. And that's about it right there. And guys, I don't have a set uh, percentage that I'll leave this gain at. Uh, it's, it's all based on how you see it, how you interpret what this screen is showing you. Right now, I don't see any noise. All I see is arches. So that's a clear picture for me. Now let's go ahead and adjust our, our clear view. All right, so let's go ahead and get a clear picture on our clear view. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is change the color. So I'll go to sonar setup, 
color scheme. And again, guys, this is gonna be all about personal, personal preference. Everybody sees the color spectrum differently. Uh, on a bright day, typically I'll go with the orange crawfish. Uh, if it's overcast, I'll go with the black emerald. But it really doesn't matter. It's all about being able to mark off fish on the screen. So there's the orange crawfish. Let's hit done. Now let's go back to menu. Sonar setup. And our on-screen controls. We're gonna change that from range to brightness. Let's go back. And now you see all this noise on the screen. There's, it looks like there's little dots everywhere. We see some darker dots and those are gonna be fish, right? There's a fish there, fish here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that noise. So we'll just hit that minus button and that's gonna take away all the noise that's on our screen. And again, guys, I don't have any preset settings. Uh, it's just a field thing. Once you get out on the water, uh, depending on the water clarity, depending on how much sunlight, your settings will differ every time out. So now you can see we don't have as much noise on our screen, but we do see the, uh, some pronounced dots, and these are gonna be fish. All right, now let's go ahead and clear up our side view. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change our color. Let's go to sonar setup, color scheme. And again, I'm gonna go with that orange crawfish. And let's hit done. So the first thing I guess we can talk about with side view is gonna be our range. If I'm riding down the ledge of a channel and I only want to see what's on that ledge, I'll tighten up my range to maybe only show 50 feet on the side. If I'm visiting a new body of water, we'll, we'll back it out. We'll go to menu. Right now, set to auto. And we'll put this range down to 100 feet. 100 feet is what I typically go with when I'm visiting a new lake. And we hit done. Every time you switch your range you'll get these black blotches on the side and that's just your unit readjusting and recalibrating all right so we've got our range set we where we want it but when it comes to clearing up your picture you don't want range on your screen we're going to go to menu we're going to go to sonar setup and our on-screen control we're going to move that to brightness let's go back and now i'm just going to remove some of this brightness and what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at the, so this white line is gonna be the center of our boat. This section in the middle is gonna be the water column. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to wanna to get that water column black, uh, basically clear from all this noise. And then we know we're at a good point. Okay, you see how that cleared up? We just have a, just a little bit of noise in there. Not too much. Now to sharpen up that picture, we're gonna go to menu. And we're gonna adjust our contrast. So guys, when it comes to your contrast, uh, I've heard some people suggest low contrast settings. Uh, the folks at Bass Pro have suggested high contrast. I've used both. Uh, it's just a feel thing. With this unit, don't be afraid to tinker around with it and adjust your settings to your liking. So right now I'm filling the high contrast settings. So I'll move it up until the dots in the center start to become a little bit more pronounced. And if there's any structure on the bottom, that becomes more pronounced as well. And then we hit done. And now if you can see that, that little dot there, that's gonna be a fish. That's possibly a fish. And the rest of these dots in here is gonna be more than likely be bait fish or just trash in the water. It looks like some structure off the bottom here. And again, I like to keep brightness on the screen so I can move that brightness up and down as I need to. And also, we can always go back and change our contrast. And you can also, in turn, I didn't mention it, but you can also do the same thing with your clear view when it comes to contrast. 
Just take that contrast up a little bit higher. And you see that picture went from being a little bit dull to now being a little bit sharper. All right guys, so the last thing that we're gonna look at, we're not gonna actually make any adjustments, but I just want you all to be aware of, uh, it's going to be, if we go to our menu, and you can do this from your 2D screen, your traditional screen, you can do this from your clear view screen, as well as your side view screen. Uh, and we'll go to our sonar setup, and we'll go to advanced. Now, now in here, you'll see interference and TVG. Those are two things that I do adjust from time to time. Um, the TVG stands for time variable gain. Basically, when I've used it and seen the, the effect uh, translate to my, my picture, it's gonna be when you're fishing in the rain. Uh, if you're fishing and it's heavy rain out, I've turned my TVG up higher and that has cleared up my picture some. Uh, the other thing is the interference. If you're in a situation where there are a lot of boats in the area, uh, their trolling motors may affect uh, the picture that you have on your screen. So if you have that kind of interference or some maybe something's going on with your wiring, wiring, uh, you turn your interference up and that'll get rid of some of your on-screen interference. But guys, man, that's pretty much it, man. There's not a whole lot to setting this unit up. Uh, don't be afraid of it. You're not gonna break it. If anything, you can reset it to factory settings and start over again. Uh, but just you have to get some time out on the water play with this unit figure it out once you get your unit to showing a clear picture it's now up to you to strengthen your other tools in your fisherman toolbox you got to get tighter on that contour mat you got to get better at learning at where those fish are at different times of the year but it's been fun man i appreciate you all for watching if you're new to the channel like comment and subscribe uh, we've got more videos coming more content coming man so I appreciate each and every one of you guys, man. And until next time, LFE Worldwide, signing out.